I'm in, I'm in total control. And we got a kid, Kate McCreary. I think he's going to be a junior this year. Um, I think he's like a five-time All-American at Fargo. A couple, a couple times around the way at Super 32. Super, super tough kid. He was doing this at like 10 years old. And it was scaring us to death. But he just got better and better and better at it. And he just, if he gets this, it's a wrap. You're going to your back. Okay, so we're gonna do our leg ride. We're gonna scoop. This guy's gonna try to be tough and stay in his base. Okay, so I'm gonna double tie pry jam, swing, boot in the mat, everything stand up, and I'm gonna attack low on the wrist, and I'm gonna drive, and this guy's gonna hold his base. I'm gonna do everything the same, but I'm gonna be in my base here, or he's gonna be in his base. I'm still gonna have the leg in. Thread my wing. Now, the only difference in this position and when we were on the mat is I'm not gonna be able to have a super deep half. But if we're thinking, I want you to think low roll half here, okay? Because as I drive at this 45 degree angle, and see how I have this bar? So as I drive with this bar, what does it do? What does it do? Speak English words, let's go. What does it do? It turns his hips, turns his body. What are we trying to do in a wrestling match? What's the ultimate goal? Make his belt buckle face the ceiling. Put his shoulders on the mat, all right? So double tie, right jam. Swing that boot in. Stand up drill. I start to scoot. This guy wants to be a tough guy and hold his base. Snatch it back. Thread my wing. Now I'm just going to cup the shoulder. Now it feels like you're not going to be able to keep control. As long as your elbows are tight and you drive, you're going to be okay. I'm driving 45 degrees. And as I drive, 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 I'm pulling with my wing. And as I roll, I get to my hat. And I see the mat, I punch it. Have we been here before? Yep. So I can get my count. I can let that elbow breathe a little bit. I can step over, drop my hip to the mat, get to this position. He's got no bridge. Okay. And like I said, first, first when we saw him doing it, we were like, oh my God. But then the more, he, the more he got more fearless with it there, and you'll feel it. As long as you get your elbows pinched and drive, he doesn't have a lot of answers for it. Okay, come on, Joe, so, so Ezra can see it. And again, we'll talk about some things when in this guy's base. I don't like doing a lot of turning when this guy's in his base. I really don't. This is one of those instances where I feel confident we can turn the guy when he's in his base. I think when we try to power half this guy in his base, it's like 50-50. I feel like when we try to power half this guy, just as much bad stuff can happen to me as good stuff. All right, so we'll talk about those positions. So I'm, I'm wrapping, snaking, and scooping. I pull it back. See, I'm pinching it right to my bar, okay? I'm scooping the shoulder. I'm driving 45. I'm not rolling sideways because I want to take this post out. Hook, drive, 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 drive. Here, upside down, half comes. You can use your feet if you need to. I don't care. I'm driving with my inside toe. As soon as I see the mat, I punch it. Okay, again, like I talked about yesterday, if my knuckles are in the mat, belly down, Joe, he's got to break my arm in half. All right, I can let go of that half or let go of that wing. Have we been here before? 100%. Right? And I saw Ezra, I think he was just kind of goofing around. He did this. If, if you do this and pull a guy on top of you, just leave your shoes on the mat. Okay? You're tired. All right? Or at least don't let me see it. Boom, right there. Okay? You see how we're starting to get back to a lot of common positions from a lot of different ways? That's wrestling. That's how you develop your own style and flavor of wrestling. You find a couple positions that you always want to get to, and then you just figure out the combination of how to get there. All right? That's where that creativity comes in. I cannot stress that enough. You're crea and it's not, coach, I can't draw pictures. I'm not creative. That's not what I'm talking about. Perspective of how you look at something is, is what I'm talking about creative-wise. I look at something completely different. Okay, everybody seen those like ink blot things and you look at it or cloud watching? Oh, it looks like George Washington. Oh, no, that looks like a dragon. That's perspective. That's your creative brain, all right, processing what you're seeing and what you're feeling. This same thing with wrestling, okay? Feels good, start getting back to it. Feels good, start figuring all the combinations that can get you to that position that you like, all right? Anybody need to see it again? Good, all right, let's go. Left, 